Got him. Got him. So we got a fish. Did he escape? I'm about to find out. God, you guys hear that? I don't know how to say funny. Ah, but I'm trying. Our guard. I'm cichlid tilapia. No! My wild and people, welcome to the wild world of barley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my wild and people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. All right, guys. Yes, you guessed it. We're back out here bow fishing. This time, I'm not trying to find any iguanas. I'm actually looking for fish. Guys, I'm looking for the most evasive fish. And those are Mayan cichlids or maybe tilapia. Guys, that's exactly what we're going to try to hunt today. Guys, let's take a moment and look at my setup. Look at this beautiful, beautiful bow fishing bow, guys. And I have these beautiful arrows that are very sharp. Sha! Sharp as heck. All right, guys. So, we're good to go. Enough of me talking. Let's get it. There's one right there, guys. Got him. There's no way I missed that. There is no way. Got him. That's right, baby. Let's bring the prize home. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So we got a fish to feed my fish, a beautiful tilapia. That's right, guys. This one was not going anywhere. So it went through the spine and went all the way out. Exit, exit holes right there. Oh, he looks like he's been shot before. Look at his eye. Well, that's not an eye. What is that? I'm not too sure, guys. But just like that, you saw me pot the tilapia. All right, guys, we have one down, two more to go. Let me go put this in my cooler. That way it can stay fresh and I can chop it up when I get home. Let's get it. All right, guys, like I was mentioning earlier, it's easy, very easy to take this out. If you guys can see, come closer. Just have to unscrew it. Pull it out. Screw it back on. We're good to go. Guys, the reason I unscrewed it is because I see a gar. Although I'm looking for invasive species, I can't say no to this. It's right there. Got him. That's what's up, babe. Oh, look at him. He's biting my rope. He's biting my line. He's angry. Just like that, guys. Just like that, we got a guy. Two for one, dude. Let's get our prizes. We're gonna fillet these fish when we get home. A bunch of little small mine cichlids. Let me see if I can nail one. Let me get that one right there. Now he escaped. Did he escape? I'm about to find out. Oh, nope, nope, he didn't escape. Did he? I can't tell. I really can't tell. Nope, I got him, guys. I got him. Such a small little target, and I got him. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so I got a tilapia, and I got a mine cichlid. And a gar. And a gar! This is gonna be like a little fish nugget for my fish. <laughs> All right, guys, here's my little fish nugget. I see a nice fat gar. Got him. Got it. Got he. You guys saw me hit him, but it looked like he managed to escape. No, you got him, babe. How did he escape? He escaped. Yeah, it hit him but it didn't pierce through, and he managed to escape. I saw him swim right across. All right, my Walden people, I got enough fish. I feel like I have enough fish to feed my fish at home. So let's go back to the Wild World of Farley. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I brought them back home to the Wild World of Farley. I already bled them by literally just sticking my knife right in the gill plate and cutting it up. So they've already been bled, so they're good to go. The reason I bled them is because I want the fish to taste. I want that meat to be A-OK. -okay. So now I'm going to gut the fish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you very quickly. Um, I'm going to take my knife, put it right here on the fat of the fish, and then follow through. Probably need a sharper knife, but hey, got to work with what you have, right? And you go right until the chin. Alright guys, so this is going to be my first time gutting a gar. What we're going to be looking for is we're going to try to avoid the gut right here. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the meat on top. 
should be like two tenderloins if you will. And what we're gonna start by doing is cutting around the head. You guys need a really sharp knife. Okay, this knife is not doing justice. Cutting into the scales. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, so I put my cuts. I could put my cuts. Now I'm going to go on top. Oh my God, do you guys hear that? I should probably be wearing glasses. It's like I'm going through some type of alligator or some rough reptile. Yo. Oh, my God. This is insane. All right, guys, so now I'm going to try to skin the scales off. It's like, this is so tough. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Tells where he got shot. But let me peel the skin back. Oh, this is some pretty nice white meat. I was not expecting that. Look at this. Okay, let me continue. Guys. All right, guys. So what ended up happening was this guard just wasn't that fat. So these fillets, these back straps aren't as big. But we will be able to salvage some pieces for us to cook. I have to invest in a better knife, a fillet knife. What I was able to save are these pieces right here. And pretty much the rest of it is stuck really hard on this actual skin. The funny Mama Wild World of Friday was here. Friday? Hey, what's what up? What are you doing here? Well, you see what happened was I'm trying to, um, yeah, so catch and cook and today had a good day and catch a lot of fish. So I need your help, please. You, you don't know how to cook, Friday. Ah, but I'm trying, I'm trying to learn. You want to you wanna help me out? I'm so tired. I just came from the beach. I know, but please help me out. That's Guys, it. please make Mama Wild World of Friday help me. Come on, look at the subscribers. Do it for the subscribers. Do it for the fans. I'm so tired, guys. It doesn't matter. I'm tired too. Look at what I'm doing. Let's see what I can do. All right, I appreciate you. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up finish filleting this, and Mama Wild World of Friday will cook it for me, and then we'll do a taste test, and I'll see which fish tastes the best, whether it be a gar, whether it be a tilapia, or mine cichlids. Hey, I'm a wild of Farley, what do I do? You want to start to remove all the... Alright, gotcha. I can use the scissors? Yes. Okay, let me go this way. I'll in the kitchen after. <laughs> so what do I do next? Next, you're going to cut the head. Really? Yes. Well, what's the next step? Next step, you're going to cut it by pieces. Okay, so right here? Yes. I think that's a good piece. That's yeah. Nice piece. yeah, we have two good, two good pieces. Two right? decent pieces. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. For the first time. Not next too bad, time at all. Be I agree. Baby, yeah. it's a lapia. It is a big one. Yeah. You're gonna see I'll do the same thing. The same thing. The same process that we did before. All right. So I pretty much got rid of the fins. Apart from getting rid of the fins, now I'm gonna take all the scales no, out. This can, uh, yeah. Oh, this. Yes. Okay, my wild and people. Now we have our three meats. We have the Mayan cichlids, we have the tilapia, and we have the pieces of the gar. What I'm going to do now is add some lemon. That's right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Put some lemon. Good so far. Yeah, yeah. Lemon, lemon, lemon. I'm going to cut the lemon. Mm -hmm. Guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning the meat. I'm cleaning the meat with the lemon. Both sides. Isn't that right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Both sides. We're good. Both sides? Both sides. Sprinkle. Okay. Sprinkle a dash. Without the seeds, of course. I don't have time for that. Alright, guys, now we're going to use the lemon juice. Now I have to mix the meat? Yeah, good then. I'll start with this. Spicy, yes. Mix. 
The same thing on this side. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them in a plastic bag and let them marinate overnight. That way it could be a rich flavor. And then tomorrow I'll decide which one is the best after cooking them. So let's do that. Bag number one. And bag number three. We are good to go. Put these in the fridge overnight. And I'll cook them tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. All right, my Walton people. Welcome back to Cooking with the Wild World of Fire. Guys, if you remember where we left off is, we had our meat marinated. Come take a closer look. We have number one, the meat, which is gar. Ooh, la la. We have number two, which is Mayan. And last but not least, we have plain tilapia. That was caught with a bow and arrow. All right, guys, so we let them marinate. It's good to go. And guys, you have the pleasure of having your boy Wild World of Farley cooking today. On my previous episodes, we saw Mama Wild World of Farley cooking, but she couldn't make it today. So you guys have the next best thing, your boy Farley. All right, guys, so let's get this show on the road. All right, so we have our pan over here, our frying pan. We have the heat turned on low. And last but not least, we have our extra virgin olive oil. So enough of me talking. Let's get to cooking. So I've added my olive oil. I spread it across the pan. Now it's time to get to frying. Right, I'm gonna start off with the gar. I'm gonna take some of the meat chunks and just add it to the frying pan. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, it's sizzling, it's sizzling, baby. Okay, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo! Gonna be a grease mess. <laughs> Ooh la la, it's looking good. Turn it over, make sure it's nice and golden brown. It's almost ready. Making sure the meat is thoroughly cooked, just like I like it. The gar is good to go. Let's put it right here in the gar plate. Gonna have a nice little taste of that. Now it's time to fry the rest of them. Guys, next up is the Mayan. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice piece. Look at that filet. Ooh, nice little skin wow. I don't really care for the skin that much. I just remove the skin. Now I'm left with this beautiful, nice little filet. Kind of broke it when I was trying to take off the skin, but hey, I'll try to keep it in one piece and flip this bad baby over. Ooh, yeah. All right, guys, it's ready. It's nice and ready. It's cooked. I kind of broke it a bit when I was trying to take off the skin, remove the skin, but it's good to go. Just take a knife and slide it right off. So two fish down, one more to go. What's left now is the tilapia. Burn, baby, burn. This is good. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> so let's take a look at how the meat turned out. Over here we have our gar, then we have our mine cichlids, and then we have our tilapia. Now time for the fun. Time to do the taste test and see which fish is better than the other. Yeah, so I have my fillet knife, better late than never. Let's try the gar. Let's get a small little piece. Just to see how it tastes. It's a very, very thick meat. But it's not bad, it's not bad. It's very thick. It's a bit chewy. But it, it's decent. Alright, so that was my impression of gar. Now, this is the mind sickness. I've heard great things about the mind sickness, so I'm actually excited to taste it. Take a nice little piece right here. This is much better. The mind sickness is actually pretty good. It tastes, it tastes almost like chicken, surprisingly. Not bad. So I prefer the mind sickness to the gar. So the mind sickness is not too bad. So far, the mind sickness is winning. Hey guys, as we all know, tilapia. Let's taste the tilapia. I'm pretty sure I know how tilapia tastes, but let's just taste it and see if it's better than the gar as well as the mine sickle. Just want a nice little piece. Yeah, it tastes like tilapia, guys. Just tastes just like regular tilapia. Alright guys, so I have to give it to the Mayan cichlid. The Mayan cichlid, like I mentioned before, it kind of tastes like chicken. It was actually better. The gar, I did not like the consistency of the gar. I was a little too chewy. And the tilapia, I'm a little over tilapia. I have tilapia all, all the time. So guys, the winner is Mayan cichlid. I know exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go find myself some more Mayan cichlids. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing me taste these three different freshwater fish. 
And until next time, stay wild. Hey, hey you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.